In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an IP address to Webmin Virtual Min. Uh, so this is Webmin Virtual Min. What I've done is I've gone to the Webmin tab. I'm going to click on Networking. Now I am going to uh, Network Configuration and Network Interfaces. Uh, you'll see here that there are um, basically three interfaces already set up. The LO you don't worry about. I just want to, want to use this one that's got something set up on it already. I'm going to click on this. Uh, now I already have um, an IP address picked out and I've copied it to my, uh, my clipboard here. And now I'm going to add a virtual interface right here. That didn't look like it's clickable, but it is. Okay, so uh, when I do that, I'm just going to put in the IP address right here. Um, it is an IPv4. Uh, basically, that's what it's going to be as an IPv4. You can see that it's automatically assigned a colon 1 to this. That's fine. You can change that if you want to match this. I often will do that. I'll match the 194 just so I know which one is which. And that's when I, from the outside, you know, on the other screen, I can look at it and I can see which one is, is which IP address. Uh, so we want to go ahead and, and uh, switch this to the netmask. I'm going to pause this video while I go grab that. Okay, so I went ahead and pasted that in here, and I also pasted in uh, the broadcast IP address. This is usually the uh, last IP address um, after all the usable IP addresses. So once you go, you know, our last usable one might be 222, so I put 223. Now we just go create and apply. And everything looks like it's working. Uh, now, one thing I wanted to point out that if you go to add another one, you shouldn't click on this one to add it. You should click on this one again. So um, that's how we started off by clicking on this one and then clicking on virtual interfaces. So like I said, you wouldn't go to this one and click virtual interfaces. You'd click on this one. So that is how you add an IP address to Webmin Virtual Min.